Weeks after young Taylor Williams was reported missing by her mother, police have now today confirmed what so many of us were dreading. The remains found in the woods in Alabama nearly two weeks ago are that of this five year old girl. Investigators didn't give many new details since the investigation is still underway tonight, but on your side's camera Eppinger is joining us now with what's next for Taylor's mother, Brianna Williams Cam. Well, Anthony, according to jail records, we know that Brianna Williams is due back in court. She's scheduled to make her next court appearance next week on December 4th. That's where she will be formally charged. Now, police say while she remains behind bars, she still isn't cooperating. On Monday, Chief of Investigations TK Waters confirming what many have feared. Almost three weeks after she was reported missing, Williams' remains have okay. been identified. Waters say the remains were found here in western Alabama, but wouldn't comment on what led them to the disturbing discovery. That information we, we, we're going to keep with us. It was a, it's, a, it's a very intense, very long, very detailed investigation, and um, those are some things that we'll keep with our investigation until we go through the processes of, of court and everything else. Investigators announced they will continue pushing to get justice for Taylor let's Williams. Go Taylor, go Taylor, go Taylor. Also happening on Monday, federal agents and detectives were spotted outside the apartment complex on Southside Boulevard where Taylor used to live with her mother, Brianna Williams. Officials were seen loading several items from the apartment into a marked JSO box truck. And we should also mention that Brianna Williams charges have not yet been updated. She's still facing those two charges of child neglect and one charge of giving false information to police. That's the latest on the investigation for now reporting live on the south side. Kimmerell Leppinger, First Coast News on your side. I'm joined right now by our First Coast News crime expert, Mark Bachman. So, Mark, my first question for you. We learned today that the human remains found in Alabama have received a positive identification to be those of little Taylor Williams. So what's next in this investigation? So the investigative steps are you've identified the remains as being Taylor. You've taken off the Amber Alerts. You're no longer looking for a missing child. And now they're going to investigatively still work on taking those remains, getting them to some forensic laboratory, mm -hmm and they're going to dis, uh, discover a cause and manner of death, which will help them in the investigation of, with ultimately charging somebody, be it Brianna or somebody else that may have participated in concert with her, or somebody had done it independently, or just her. And you bring up a good point. Right now, Brianna Williams, she's only charged with child neglect and giving false information to police. When could we see charges upgraded? Is there a possibility that someone else was involved? I mean, we don't even know if she was right. involved there, with this there's, yet. There's a, there's a possibility. All things are on the board right now. They're not going to weigh out or discount anything at this point. You have three different crime scenes. You have one up there uh, in Georgia where the remains were. You have one at Southside Boulevard, technically, that you're searching still, and, you're, and you have individuals in Tyvek suit today, investigators, that are going through it with, like, with a fine-tooth comb so there's no cross-contamination wearing those Tyvek suits. And you still have the Ivy uh, address location. So they're taking all that information, all that evidence together, plus interviews that they're conducting, and they're trying to establish a timeline, eventually, hopefully, getting a cause and manner of death, which will help narrow that down and find someone to charge and who ultimately uh, in, her, uh, in her demise. All right, Mark Bachman, our crime expert. Mark, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. As the search for Taylor span across several states, concerns grew for the little girl from Brianna's side of the family. On your side's Kaylee Tracy continues our team coverage now. She spoke with Brianna Williams' uncle this afternoon and has his reaction. I spoke with Brianna Williams' uncle who says he helped raise Brianna. He tells me the family's understandably heartbroken and they're trying to make sense of everything. Traveling across Alabama from Birmingham to Montgomery, where Taylor's father lives, to Linden and Demopolis, where Taylor's remains were found, there was one thing on everyone's minds, little Taylor Rose Williams. To give you a sense of the community in both Demopolis and Linden, where Brianna Williams is from, both are extremely small towns. Demopolis, less than 7,000 people. Linden, even smaller, less than 3,000 people. Brianna Williams' uncle, who says he helped raise her, said Monday the entire town is hurting. Not even family, I mean, the entire community. As I feel, I see people I mean, uh, that, that heard the news and got it. Everybody's heartbroken around us. I mean, I mean, because, you know, trying to understand why. I mean, what led up to this. Brianna's uncle told us everyone loved Brianna growing up and she never got into any trouble. 
This is what he said Monday about how he and his family are taking the latest developments. It's rough right now. I mean, we are just trying to hang on to each other, you know, and, uh, uh, and, and see what's next. Uh, what's next is really is trying to see what we have to do to uh, for memorial for Taylor. I mean, that's what's next. That's what's most important right now. I mean, it's the it's, uh, lay out the rest where she should be. And he asked for the community's prayers for Taylor, him, and his family. Nobody plans for anything like this. Not no tragedy like this. Nobody plans for it. Just ask for prayers and the community comfort us. That's all I can ask. And like you heard Brianna's uncle say, both of these towns, Linden and Demopolis, both very close knit, and he says they are both hurting. Reporting outside JSO, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side. And for the latest on this investigation, including a look back at how this case has unfolded, download the First Coast News app or head to firstcoastnews.com.